I was asked to do this by the State Department. I didn't know Mr. Yermak from a hole in the wall. The name of Yermak was given to me by Kurt Vogel, ambassador. I was asked to meet with him. I did meet with him. I briefed them, two of them, on everything I did. And I have a very nice text at the end explaining how honest and straightforward I was, which, is, which I am. You don't have any issue with a foreign power investigating a political rival of the president? I do if he didn't do anything. But if he bribed the president of that country, I have an issue if they don't investigate. So the ends justify the means? No. A opposite way around. It would be totally illegitimate not to investigate it. If a president, if a vice president of the United States goes somewhere and extorts the president of that country or bribes the president of that country to get his son out of trouble, I'd find it extraordinary if they didn't investigate. The Ukrainians today say that when they investigated this prosecutor, Joe Biden's son wasn't even working for the gas company. Are they lying? In yes. Your view? Yeah, he, he, was, he began working for, you just read the New York Times. He began working for this company in 2015. He didn't stop working for the company until two months ago. And the, um, the investigation was tanked, meaning dropped, in 2016. So that's completely untrue. And I mean, do you totally... have a right as a non-government employee to investigate them, to freelance ultimately? I wasn't freelancing. Why do, why do you say things like that? I mean, that, 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 there's no basis on which you should say that I'm freelancing. The reality is that there's an alternative theory of how this crime was committed. And the crime was committed by Democrats. And as his lawyer, it's my obligation to establish those facts. Are you willing to testify in front of Congress? Well, there's a lot of problems with that. I mean, sh would I like to testify and tell my story? Sure. I've been telling it all the time. In fact, you know my story. There's nothing I can tell them that you can't read online. From the very beginning, I've been totally transparent about this. There are things that I can't testify to because I'm a lawyer. What has the but president I'm, said to you this week? Uh, he asked me how I'm doing. We talked about golf. And anything we talked about relating to the case, I can't tell you. The president's in a very good mood. And he's a good friend. He's been a friend for 30 years. Are you at all concerned about your future? Because you very. Oh, have I'm been so placed as a central role in this. <laughs> no, I'm not concerned about my future. Um, what I did is perfectly um, lawful, perfectly legal. I find it completely extraordinary that you're spending all this time asking me about what I did. All this time should be spent on the pay-for-play scheme that Biden set up in which he made millions and millions of dollars using his son and having his son sell his office. That should shock you. But because we are distorted, this left-wing distortion that goes on, you're asking me about the process that I followed to uncover one of the biggest scandals. I should be considered a whistleblower. I should be getting whistleblower protection. I actually found facts that are true. The other guy, half of what he wrote is false.